Well, this will be great. Little funnel up through here. Yeah, it looks great. The millers are setting a trap around the mouth of a deep cave to help them tune into the most sharp-eared of nocturnal predators, bats. As soon as they're airborne, each species of bat emits a unique high-frequency call and uses the returning echo to navigate through the darkness. The strings of the harp trap confuse even the most acute bat sonars. The bats fall unharmed into the cradle. Meanwhile, the powerful Anabat system converts the bats' ultrasonic calls into sounds they can hear and see as distinctive visual patterns on the computer screen. Different mystery ambel on the road now. I just had a completely different signal that we haven't seen before. Tonight they detect a new sound scribble. These vocal signatures are unique to each bat species, so the millers just have to look in the cradle to match the new voice to the face. Oh my gosh. That's one of our unknowns. That is amazing. Look at the face on that. We got him. That is amazing. <laughs> Okay. Chris, I think there's another one. And there's, there's several. Great. This is great. This is one of our unknown in uh -huh. There are more molasses. Using these techniques, the millers have completely reassessed the numbers and habits of many bat species in the forest. There is now hard evidence about small insectivorous bats, which because of their accurate sonar, have evaded capture until now. 21-8. 21 21-8, okay. Oh, jeez. It's a bowerus. It's virtually... Yeah. They don't even know where these things roost. He's not oh, real oh, happy. Look at the ears. He's a male. Yeah. Big ears. I wonder if he's a gleaner. Yeah, look at the way he can turn them back. Wow. Really? Powerful jaws. He wants to eat my finger here. Ow! Well, we'll have to... Powerful teeth and jaws are necessary to crunch hard-bodied insects, but the bats must find them first. They change the pulse rate and frequency of their search calls as they locate and close in on prey. So it's vital the millers get a full range of calls for each bat before they release it. They can now identify 65% of insectivorous bats in this forest by sound alone. From here, they are fine-tuning or even rewriting bat biology. They've discovered that the Bowerys, or Van Gelder's bat, not only takes prey on the wing, but its refined sonar can even help it picture stationary insects. <laughs> 